I have visited the bus and last time talking to my brother lately. But last night, when preparing this speech, this speech had me started dialing his number, talking for him. This is what happened last night. I work for a big company, as any other big company. So this company has many offices across the country. And this company is based in DC. Last year, we had this company event where employees from different offices flew to DC and we had this town hall meeting. During the town hall meeting, the founder of the company came out and decided to share some uh, advice with uh, his young employees. All right? This uh, founder now is uh, pretty old already, but when he was younger, he worked as a journalist at a uh, local newspaper. So several minutes into uh, his speech, he started talking about a cover story he reported many years ago. The story is titled Howard Happiness Project. About uh, 70 years ago, uh, in the early uh, 1930s, uh, a research group at Howard, Uni at, at Howard University received this uh, big uh, funding to study among those young students after they left school who will have a successful career, and who will live a happy and healthy life in their late years. So this research group sent out uh, interviews to those young students' uh, hometowns, talking to their parents, talking to their friends. Basically, they want to collect data about what happened in those young students' lives. The research group did this survey again and again, every five years, basically sent out uh, interviews talking to the young students themselves, talking to their close friends, collect data, what happened in the past five years. Again, again, this uh, study continued for 70 years. Now, those young students became, uh, some, some of them passed away, some of them are in their uh, 80s, 90s. But one thing the research group can do is to look at the data and see who live or who are living a happy and healthy life, and who are not that fortunate. So now, what I'm going to do is to share some results with you so that in future we can live a happy and healthy life. So we can understand who are who those happy factors are that can lead people to live a happy and healthy life. So before I get into those uh, happy factors, let me go to uh, two non factors first. The first non factor is your uh, family background. Are you from a wealthy family or are you from a low income family? The research shows uh, when you get off the ground, your family background can help you a little bit. But by the age of 50, this factor basically is just very big. You cannot find this factor, uh, this factor plays any role in your uh, happiness or uh, healthiness. It's a non factor number one. Now, factor number two is your uh, popularity in your high school or your love in your high school. Are you really, uh, did you enjoy any popularity at your high school? It turned out that this is not a, a negative factor, but it's not a, a positive factor either. So basically, there's no correlation between your uh, high school popularity and your uh, uh, happiness in your uh, late life. Okay, so finish two non factors, now I'm gonna get into the real factors, the real three uh, big factors. Number one is your next generation. The next generation could be uh, your own children, could uh, be uh, some uh, employees, your mentor, or could just be some friends uh, who are much younger than you. The research shows if you can build a stable and uh, a respectful relationship with your next generation done, you will enjoy three times higher opportunity to enjoy a happy and healthy life in your late years. This is a factor number one, very important factor. Factor number two is how you handle uh, frustration. Everyone suffers frustration. Everyone has a, a, like, a bum, like a bad days, good days. So facing frustration, do you uh, uh, have an attitude of um, bullying? Uh, bitterness or even withdraw from your real life? Or do you handle uh, uh, frustration with uh, a, uh, a, a, a sense of humor, a sense of self-deprecation, and 
do you have the courage to get over the hump and come back to live a better life? So this is a happy factor number two. Now I'm going to get into the most important factor, most significant factor, uh, which is the last one. So this one is a very uh, power. This is a lifelong challenge. And this factor is not a gift everyone has. The third factor is your capability to build stable, healthy, and respectful relationship with your spouse and siblings. So the, that uh, Harvard research shows 93% of the people who enjoy their golden years have or have the uh, opportunity, the capability to build long-lasting, respectful relationship with their siblings and spouse, especially siblings. So uh, big three happy factors, next generation, uh, how, how you handle frustration and your relationship with your spouse and siblings. Now, getting back to the, uh, the beginning of my speech, remember the frame I set up for this speech? I didn't find much time talking to my brother lately. But when preparing this speech last night, this speech had me start talking to him, uh, start dialing his number in California. This is me. How about you? No. Thanks.